Hello, we are the Supremes. And I'm Judge Fister. I'm Dr. Kish, my ash. And we're here to play some games. Oh my god, it's been a while since we've done console based. Well, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, so we're doing a game I've been looking forward to doing for so long. Last of Us. A little bit of an orgasm there, did ya? Yes, I did, and I admit, I've played ahead a bit. I like the game that much, I've been wanting it that badly. So, oh, wait a minute, hard, okay, easy, normal, hard, grounded, no survivor. I can't play survivor. Cause you gotta beat the game first, I'm but, assuming. But I can play the harder difficulty? Or the more fun difficulty? Maybe it is the more fun difficulty. It's always more fun. Well, it does say Survivor. Alright, so... Alright, so... Wait, did I turn on subtitles? I think I have subtitles on. I should have subtitles on from last time. So, we got a nice long-ass loading screen to entertain the peoples with. Ooh, yeah. Look at all those... Yeah, it is like almost 3 a.m., so... We're a little sleepy sleeps. Sleepy sleeps, I will sleep on your face. So, what do you know about Last of Us? It's a survival game with escort missions. It, it doesn't just have escort missions. It is an escort mission! <laughs> kind of like Resident Evil 4, except Ellie doesn't get kidnapped 24-7. Oh, now I know her name. Should have waited until she popped up. Oh. Asshole. It says on the Asshole. back of the game case. Asshole, it's calling. Joel and Ellie brought it's together an asshole, by a harsh circumstance. Change your number. What? You all know the reference. I don't know the reference. Oh, there's the loading uh, bar. Yeah, that little uh, cell phone thing you can get. I'll have it for you. Asshole calling. Oh, God. Where are Huh. That is a bitch one. Can't remember. I think it's asshole. You're a dick. And you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay. So, so the video game's about to start. Yay! Yay! My god, this game is so much fun. So, you know, like, nothing about this game? Like, seriously. What, what do you know? I know there's violence. And little children. Oh, well, there's a little girl. Oh, don't you... What do you think, oh, Judge Fister? Oh, awesome, we have stuff so we can talk. Uh, what do you what do you think of her, Judge Fister? It's a little girl. Well, that's all I can think about is, okay, it's a little girl. So are you, so are you here while I was playing this part? Like the entirety? Were you paying attention is the better word. Maybe, maybe not. I will never tell. Still doing that. Still yeah, if you were paying attention, then you know what happens still today. to the little girl. Let's not spoil it for the people. Though. Yeah, the fact that you can't emphasize yeah. on what happened to the little girl. Well, what always happens to a little girl at the beginning of a horror movie? Or game? They survive? Okay, game different. But game. What happens they, in a game? Kept complaining about broken watch. They leave for no real reason. We don't see them until basically the end. The little girl? We watch different games. Oh, it's nice, okay, but... other than Final Fantasy. I think it's which I'm sure. about Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy 13. Um, oh, the kids wow. separated. Like Hope and... Yeah, I'm not really that at all. That's the only game I know where that happens. Oh, good. Well, what well, game did that happen? Well, in horror yeah, games or whatever. Yeah, we got like... All basically grudge ripoffs. Well, yeah, but no, he's the greatest evil. Well, yeah, but they're monsters, and the Grudge was a movie. They got a game. Oh yeah, Jew on the Gru the Grudge, uh, haunted house simulator. Yeah, that piece of shit. Yeah. I like the fact that it has your sissy level and your bravery level, yeah. or your coward level. How much of a coward you were, and how much of a complete bitch you are. <laughs> yep. Which your coward level is always higher than your bitch level. When I've seen it. Now, the, oh, Dawn of the Wolf. Look at that. Look at that movie poster. That's going to appear a lot in this game for some reason. Maybe it was popular at the time. It, 
I assume it was like the movie before the end of the world. Oh. I guess. Okay. Hello. I think all the room. Not too good. Now look at that mirror. Look at that. This does not happen enough in games where the mirror actually functions. What is that? Extremely well, no less. Like it's hilarious in uh, Duke Nukem Four because he jumps without moving his without moving his body. It's just his legs, and it's hilarious because he's got his arms by his side in front of the mirror. Oh look, it's a birthday card. Look at the birthday card. Dad, let's see. You're never around. You hate the music I'm into. You practically despise the movies I like. And yet somehow you still manage to be the best dad every year. How do you do that? Happy birthday, Pops. Sarah. Her name's Sarah? Sarah! <laughs> Sarah Connor! <laughs> oh gosh, so, or, so, yeah, we should go for the Jurassic, or, uh, yeah, Terminator okay. jokes. Wow. Well, so, sorry, Jurassic Park Lost World, Jeff Goldblum is, uh, yelling in the most dad? bored tone, Sarah! When looking for his girlfriend. Daddy? <laughs> and, um, I have some problems there, buddy. Have you seen Lost World? No. Oh my gosh, the second Jurassic Park movie. It's It's got Vince Vaughn in it, but he's not doing comedy, so it kind of sucks. Where the heck are you? Like, he's better at comedy. Uh, Dodgeball. Main character. Ah. Oh, hey, things are going okay. Oh! 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 That's ah, good! No one's had too much Taco Bell. Oh! They had too many quesaritos. Oh, I love those quesaritos. I know, they're so good. You introduced me to them. Yes, I did. And I'm introducing them to more than just you. So, this little girl can't do shit. What's going on? I advise you all try them. They're oh. really, really, really good. They're not sponsoring, but they're oh. okay. We tried it, we like it. Yeah, we don't need to get paid to talk about how good it is. We just like it. Yeah, we... if you want to pay us for that, then go ahead. We'll, yeah. we'll accept your money. See, this is how you know it's Texas. He's got an acoustic guitar. Because everyone in Texas owns an acoustic guitar. You don't. I do. I have it in storage. <laughs> I, <don't laughs> I own an acoustic guitar. I want to see this thing. Oh, love proof. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, let's it's see. Here's the kitchen. It's nice. Going the fuck to sleep. But we can't go to sleep yet. It's the end of the world. So Tommy's trying to get a hold of Joel. It's the end of the world as we know it. Oh, we don't know it's the end of the world yet. We just know shit's going to hell. Oh, it's a survivor game. Survival, survival horror. Apocalypse. I'm going to be home late tonight. Go ahead and order food. See you in the morning, Dad. See, this is a good parent. This is a good parent. How old do you think this girl is? How old does she look? She looks like, what, 12, 11? Sure. What? 10? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe 13. And Dad's just like, yeah, go ahead and order some takeout, even though I was just home like an hour ago. Yeah. Or a couple hours ago. I'm a good parent. No, you're not. I know what you do with your you kidding kidding children. Are you kidding me? Joel's the best parent ever. <laughs> Liar. I mean, look at that. Look, look. Shit's hitting the fan, and he's coming home. He's like, don't worry, daughter, person. I will protect you. A real dad would have given that gun to his daughter to shoot those things. Okay, he's telling me to stay away from the door, so I'm going to get as close to the door as possible. I am literally touching the door. Look at that. Even the reflection. My god, that is good. Oh! <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> come here, come here. Sweet mother of Jesus. Oh, good cream. How do I get over this so fast? Come day. Jimmy, I am warning you. Uh, oh, and now the daughter is mentally scarred for life because she just saw her dad shoot someone in the skull. For life, huh? For life, yes. She is scarred for life. There was something bad going on. It's a small world after all. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I wish they could. I wish we had a face cam for this, so they could see the face I'm giving you. What? I sing random shit. I know. Oh, I there's, there's the badass Uncle Tommy. You got 
Uncle Tommy. Yeah, let's just get out of here. Badass. Badass. Some chainsaws popping out of that thing. Okay, so I don't want. I'm focusing on my dad. I'm focusing on Tommy. Tell me what happened. This is also a cool element in the game where just this part, this never happens again, but you can like move around in the car. When you look somewhere, the little girl moves. It's kind of like uh, when you were younger and you would do this, you'd like look out the windows, you get like right up to them. You'd like move across the seat of the car, the sure. back seat. Yeah. Oh, those, those are good times. So, this, what movies actually go through this? Like, the exact what's happening in the apocalypse. The very beginning. I don't know, you have a movie, nut. None. I have not seen any. It's like, in all zombie movies, like in a, like Dawn of the Dead, it just starts. Or in its remake, the chick bumps her head and goes unconscious. And misses the entire beginning. It's got that great CGI shot at the, at the very beginning, and then the rest looks not so good. But we ain't the only town. So what do you know about the monsters in this game? They're not zombies, but they're infected people who go crazy. Exactly! See, he knows the difference, people. They're freaky fungus men. Oh, and you found enough people who like go crazy over the Pacific. Of course not. Yeah. Like me. Sadly, yeah. I will kill him. But, uh... Yeah, they're all fungus affected. It's basically like M. Night Shyamalan's The Happening, except these plants are actually, you know, doing something interesting. As opposed to, oh, we make you want to kill yourself. That was a stupid movie. I didn't like it. Plus, I mean, uh, oh god, what was that actor's name? It was in The Happening. He's a... He's like an Academy Award winning actor. Oh gosh, people are gonna yell at me in the comments. They're gonna be like, it's this guy, and I'm gonna say that I'm sorry. Oh! Well, hopefully, uh, they will yell. Oh, no, I Yell it all you want! Look, there's traffic. Oh! Oh, that looks good. See, never go towards the hospital in one of these situations. Because that's just where we were by. That means you go to the hospital. But why? Then you'll get blood on your window like that. So you can have blood on your window. Okay, seriously, why would these people run into the like air? Like run into the car. They're behind me too. They're stupid. Like not out suicidal. Breaking out, not thinking. I I think that last. Oh shit. Just got T-boned. Well, good for you, man. Good for you. <laughs> la, 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 la. Daddy? I'm a porn star. Hey. <laughs> oh, oh, it's not looking so good. Get back, get back. It's not looking so good at all. Oh, I got a mash. Yay. You gotta do that, man. Control. Okay, yeah, it's the watch and stuff daughter gave him for his birthday. Oh yeah! She was like, here, have a watch! And he's like, cool. No! Oh, oh I think the watch is cool. I was going to battery die. Oh. Oh, it's gonna be hell. It's gonna be the- Oh! Hi! Damn! Tommy's beat him in the head with a brick. Wow. Tommy's a badass. What do you think? Tommy is a badass. Fucking beating people overhead with bricks and like causing pain and hurts. Oh, that sounds delightful. Yes, I'm going to. Okay, I don't like this part because it's like, okay, I've got a little girl. There's zon There's creatures after me. Some freaky zombie-like creatures. What? Why? Oh God! I can't defend myself because I can't hit him with my daughter. I don't know why. I want to. Oh, oh no, no! Okay, we're gonna run with the I people. I would just like to say, I am personally offended by the fact that you can't don't beat look, sir. a motherfucker with a bitch. Keep looking at me, baby. I think it's because her legs broken. That's why I don't need her as a weapon. Aww. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Fuck off. She's hurt enough. Let's not hurt her anymore. 
I love how that one guy was just standing there looking around like, wait, what's going on? Oh yeah, it's the end of the fucking world. It's the end of the world. No, the armadillo theater. Dude, that's the one case I wanted to go. Move people. Get my legs out. Oh, I gotta run. Well. Okay, I'm gonna cut this out, dude. You really need to focus. Right now you're just doing gibberish. I'm always doing gibberish. Well, yeah, you actually need to talk about the game, dude. You need to talk about having an intelligent conversation and stuff. Every time I try, dude, with every game that we play, every time I try to say anything, you overshadow me. No, I'm trying to talk about intelligent stuff. Yeah, but it's just about the game. I know nothing about it, so I can't really right. contribute. I brought up the happening. I brought up horror movies. I brought up actors. I've been All really these people the I don't know anything about. Horror movies? You know nothing of horror movies. That's the kind you're going for. Zombie movies? Most of you guys are Resident Evil, and I'm sure everybody's kind of tired of it. Well, I mean, bring up a subject. I mean, hell, I go along with you on Dueling Network. Because all the information is right there. What? Or when a guy fucks up on whatever. Or when you're talking to them. You're being funny. Yeah, but you do most of the talking during that. Come on, I can't hold this on my own with you just going, oh, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm not paying any attention. Like, seriously, mir mirroring the fact that I said, oh, Tommy's a badass. I just don't know what to say. Just anything. It's our show. Just don't constantly do gibberish bullshit. I mean, I've been... I... Uh. Bring up all this cool stuff about games, talk about cool stuff in other games that are, that's similar to it. Anything. Why? Right. Oh. oh, God. There's a trash. Oh, there. shit! Oh! <laughs> He wanted your daughter. He did. He's not gonna get her though. Damn it. He's like, I'm gonna die virgin, so now I wanna, you know, apply whatever I can. Oh god. Oh, the little girl. <laughs> She'll be easy, right? Now oh. a broken leg. See, games like this, games that have this type of, like, beginning, where you have no weapon and no means of defense. Yeah. Those, those are like the worst in my opinion. They're so, they're so intense. Yeah. Ugh. Oh shit. Daddy, I'm alone. I have no one protecting me. He did. Oh, wait, I should not look behind me. Yeah, that, that, that did not work out well when you first played. No, it did not. I got home. But there's someone behind me. And he's run, hungry. Forest, run! Run through the forest. Oh shit. There's another dude. He, he wants to hug you. No! You will not hug me! Oh, I made it! Oh, oh my God. it's okay, baby. We're safe. We're safe. Hey, oh, we need thank you, you Soldier Man. It's, it's my daughter. I think her leg is broken. Stop right there! This is what would really. He looks really Asian there. Yes, he does. No, oh my sick. God. Please advise. <laughs> Anyway, um, oh god, what, what the fuck is I gonna say? Um, oh, do you think this is how the military would actually act? Yeah. Yeah? You think they portrayed it pretty well? Yep. Alright. Well, they're already just training just... their soldiers to do this type of shit. Yeah, true, but he's like, oh, I don't want to do it, and then, oh, he does it. Oh. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay, oh. Uh, oh! Boom! Headshot. And it's Uncle Tommy, being oh, a badass as usual. Good for him. Sarah. Oh no, oh, my daughter! I know, baby, I know. Emotional moment. Yeah, but it didn't really have that much of a setup. I mean, we know like nothing about her, so we don't really have that. I guess it's just kind of more showing the backstory. Yeah, I, I guess that that is something that they should aim for, which is good. But I mean. Again, we know Sarah. almost nothing about her, so it's like, oh, Baby. child dead. Yeah. And the voice acting is actually pretty good. Like, hey, 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 I man, I feel bad. Just I just, I don't feel like I feel as bad as I should. I'm just emotionless on the inside, so yeah. 
Well, I mean, if we had, like, gotten to know her, like, if she had been with us for, like, half the game, then, well, yeah. Like one I mean, fourth of it. Yeah. I mean, this is mostly sitting up while, about why Joel can't love anymore. Joel cares nothing for anyone. The number and then this is basically the news the governor has yeah. called a state of emergency. Which every good zombie like thing needs. I was thinking more like uh like blood or truth or like vaccination tests have failed. Or sponges. For the power, we can finally take Well like 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 that. That looks like a sponge drone or moss. Yeah, I know it is moss. Yeah, it's supposed to be like the fungus and stuff. For the mushroom damn bamboo. Oh, oh, the <laughs> oh god. Okay. There's, there's, there's not to have many explosions in the game. At least no big ones. Like, yeah, you can get, like, names, that type of grenade. Well, yeah, but it wasn't, like... With that, it was like, oh, it exploded. With Michael Bay, you know, it's like, oh, it exploded. You know, I was wondering, why is it always in the horror games or whatever? Even in movies, there's always, oh, hey, far from distance, something exploded. It's to emphasize the impending of its coming. Whatever it is. It's, it's Still, coming. it's just, it's not what's going to actually happen. I mean, yeah, maybe a car crash, but no, not, I'm actually two cars go out of there, it's going to explode. Well, I mean, maybe, crash, yes. I mean, maybe, the, no. maybe the car hit the gas station, and that's what exploded. It's always a gas station. Well, yeah, because gas stations explode. <laughs> explode. Now it's not a source of ignition. No. Unless people are purposely shooting at the no. gas. Well, I mean, I guess, like, your engine could spark. No, I don't. No. Like, when, when, like, no, a... No, every fucking movie. It, it's just, no. No. It's because explosions look cool. West End District. To a certain point, after that certain point, then it's just, oh, yay, a spoon drops. Explosion! Okay, we're not talking about Michael Bay. Well, we were talking about Michael Bay, but not anymore. We're talking about the general year. explosion. No, right? I'm talking about never fucking movie with all the goddamn right? explosion. Well, yeah, but most movies don't you blow it up that... Much. Oh man. Most movies don't blow it that far out of proportion to where it's like, look at what we can do. Well, with Michael Bay, it's like, look at all I can do. This is all I know how to do. I'm just getting tired of everything having an explosion. And not just in Michael Bay's movies. Yes, he's most famous for it, but pay attention to all the other movies, people. Well, I mean, Michael Bay has like 30 explosions in each of his movies. Well, wow. most movies yeah, have like one or two. Nobody's, they don't matter. What matters? Still, I'm just getting tired of in every wrong? movie there's Fuck always at one explosion because of the fact that, oh, oh, hey, we need an explosion to show something. He figures he's going to get us first. Well, um, so it's like, so hey, it looks know. like you just blew out your ass. He's well, I mean, like in Die Hard, yeah, they blew up the helipad, but they had C4 planted. What? They had something to trigger and the explosion. And now he's still in Die Hard for me. Is that the helipad exploded? Yes! That could have been a crucial point. It's not it. Fuck you. It's an explosion. It's like you. Okay, well, I kind of let you win that one by pointing out that it is an explosion. See? Pointless I mean, explosion. It, for might, no fucking it might have a plot point, considering it's the only explosion in the movie. Besides the other explosions. It's an 80s action film. It gets a pass. No! It does not. Fuck your pass. All 80s action movies get a pass. I'm really tired of all these old movies constantly getting a pass to the role. Fuck you. Well, that's because they were doing it before it became a trend. It's they were pretty much doing it before it was cool. <laughs> so they're hippie, they're hipsters. No, because hipsters take something that's not cool and do it, while originals pretty much do something cool the first time, and then everyone copies them. Still. Hipsters go to far lengths to do something that's uncool and say that it's cool. Like, um, wearing sunglasses indoors. They say it's never once been cool and they do it just to look cool. Because they think they look cool. Look at that. So it's like you when you were smoking. You did it because it made you look cool. I never once said I smoked because oh, it made yes, you look cool. Oh, yes, you did. No, I've never smoked when because it looked cool. When I first found out about it, you're like, dude, it kind of makes me look cool and all that. I said I do it for stress, and also, yeah, it kind of, I thought it made me look kind of cool. That's not why I started. Still pointing my, still gave me a point. Well, I, I, 
No, I never said I started smoking because it made me look cool. But you did say that it made you feel yeah, cool. Yeah, after I had already started for a while. Yeah, but I'm still saying you did say it made you feel cool. Yeah. I'm not saying that's the reason you started, I'm just saying. Well, that's, that's the stupid reason people start. It's because they think yeah. it makes them look cool. I started for stress reasons, which isn't a you good reason, they but it's a reason. They say that it's always because of stress. Yeah, but mine was for me. excuses, people. No, I was living in a hotel at the time. And I was living in a hotel myself. Then you know how much it sucks, especially when there's roaches. Sorry, especially when there's roaches. Fuck. Oh shit! It won't let me turn around. Oh yeah, I got a quick turn. I'm done that too. Uh, when there's roaches, fucking growing in the fire alarm. Yep. What motel did you stay in? I was at the ranch house inn. It's not even a chain. Well, Yours is a chain. The easy route. Yeah, just they were some right. kind of crap. You still had a chain. Oh, so now I gotta heal. Alright, anyway, back to the game. Okay, yeah, so... Shit, um... Oh. Yeah, don't just give me the med, the med kit. Let me fucking select it first. Alright. They're gonna close all the chains. So... Do you know what's going on, or do I need to catch you up? Uh, apparently they're getting set up for a job. Yeah, they're gonna go get guns from this one guy, Robert, who they do not like. I was there. Good for them. And he tried to get Tess killed, which is that lady, that nice lady over there. Uh, he tried to get her killed, and so now we're gonna go kick him in the butt. been asking around. Good for Marlene. Pick him in his stupid butt. Good for Robert or good for Joel? Everyone! They're in a apocalyptic world. Apparently, everybody's greatest dream nowadays. Yeah! And really, we're all being fucking idiots. It's funny how. I'm one of them. Yeah, I am too. So, I mean, yeah, I'm hypocritical, but you know what? I'm still saying we're idiots for one that. I don't like well, I mean, it's funny because back in like the seventies and eighties, the hopes for the future were like bright, prosperous metropolises. Yeah, metropoli, whatever the fucking plural is. Now it's all this. This is what you want to live want in, people. I want to basically. Let, let's see, what would they be forced to do? Oh, go hungry all the time. Have your guard up, even when you're trying to take a shit. I still do that. Probably won't be showering for months on end. Joel, give me a hand with this. If even. Oh. Mm, let's see, what else? What else? The friends and family will be dead. You will literally be left alone until some... Psycho. Uh, yeah, and... finds you, rapes you, beats you, and plays with uh... your fucking testicles or whatever. Hey, that's so much fun. Oh, oh my god, it is dark. To throw away down here. Um... Oh. Darkness. Okay. Aww. It imprisoned me. But then I got set free by the light. It made the game better. How? It can't be played. I disagree. It can be played. It's called You Lose. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not playing. That's losing. This is playing. Jump. Alright, so. Mario. So we gotta go kick Robert's butt. Our we got a handgun. We got a gas mask. Which I have a gas mask similar to the one that, uh. They use in this game. It's a front loader, not a side loader. Yeah, I just I just don't have any uh, air cans. Technically, I shouldn't even be using the air can that I've got because it has radiation. Radiation. And if I inhale it, I could die. Oh, uh, yes, my gun is not loaded. I have four bullets. Not doing so. Oh, not doing so good. Or is it? Okay, now this is one thing about the game that bugs me. All right, hang on. You'll see it in a second. Okay. Second. On. And. Once it lets me. This. How the hell is she that strong? People are than they look. No, but that's ridiculous. I mean, look how big I am. I gotta weigh at least 200 something pounds, and she can lift that with one arm? She is tough. She is a tough bitch. Well, in a apocalyptic world. Yeah, you don't have to be tough. Oh, well, look how skinny her arms are. Her arms are skinnier than mine, and I got some skinny arms, and I have trouble lifting 45s. <laughs> well, two at once. Two so. 45s at once, I, I cannot lift very well. Yeah. Now, this makes up for it. 
Look how beautiful that is. Ain't been out here. Yay. Th this is a very well constructed environment. Yay. Boy, it seems like a happy place. Hello, middle schooler. That anyway. That isn't the first definition. Yeah, but you're still saying it. Like a middle schooler. Where's the line? You're a happy place? So I'm actually that makes me a middle schooler? No, because you're, wow. you're saying gay. Which is what little middle schoolers do. If we have any middle schoolers watching, stop saying it like that. You sound retarded. You're just an asshole. Got it. Why? Because I'm trying to get the youth of our generation to stop being fucking morons. It's our generation. Or the youth. They don't want to continue being morons because it will get them attention. Good point. So, well, don't even try to help them anymore. Let them. Lady. Well, well, must be I have hope for humanity. I don't. I do. I think oh. all just Oh yeah, this away. is this is a good flashlight too. I mean look, uh when you get closer, it's it's even got the little dot in the center. You know when you have a flashlight and like standing far away and that big dot forms and you get closer and it just kinda of vanishes? It's got it's the core. It's got that core in its light. Yep. Yeah. This game has that for some reason. Now I I know like no facts. Ah, oh, I just got trolled. Uh, I know very few facts about this game. All I do know is that they literally tried to set up as most a real world environment as you can, or as they could, without kind of forcing it. You know, like uh, some things are blocked off, but it's believable because it's like, oh well, someone would barricade that. Like up here, someone would barricade this. It's like, oh, they want to hold up up there. Okay, well, block the stairs. I can't get past it. I, I can believe that. But the name is unbelievable one. Ah, uh, Resident Evil 4 when you can't get over the two foot fence. Speaking of merchandise, when's that next shipment? Good off to just say, like, Legend of Zelda. Well, that's the first one that popped into my head. Legend of Zelda is an overhead, so they can get away with pretty much anything they want. On oh, obstacle eyes. Oh! The spores! The spores. Oh. Wow, this made the game a lot darker. And greener. Oh. Somebody has a green Oh, yeah, I forgot you can change shoulder perspective. <laughs> I move so fast in the dark. Anyways. Um. Yeah, so because I don't have a dual shot control, I, I have to constantly turn off my flashlight, otherwise I have to quit the game or die before it'll fix itself. And I don't want to do that. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Okay? So, do you have any yeah. questions about this game? The ceiling's falling apart. Be careful. This way. Not really. I mean, there's nothing you're curious about. Oh, sorry, I saw you. Played last couple of days. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, you spoiled it for me. I did spoil like the first like part of the game. Dude, I'm sorry, but. What do you want to do? I can't let you turn. Poor bastard. He didn't want to turn, so yeah. I say I'll do the same. He yeah. The same uh, look at me. that. Look at that. A nice little chunk came out of his head. Yeah. I like that. I like the fact that I can see the chunks come out of people's heads when I shoot them. It's kind of messed up. Yeah, but it's a sign of a good game. Yeah, and then you do it in real life, and it's like, oh, hey, I can do that to real people. Oh, hey, don't be one of those. Oh, shit. Wait. Ah, oh, Ruby. Um, um, oh, yeah, listen, though. No, listen, okay. Oh. Hi, buddy. Uh, listen mode can be turned off, but I don't see why you'd want to, because it's like, well, it allows you to know where enemies are. I mean, it makes the game a shitload harder. You need to? No, it makes the shitload harder if you turn it off. Oh, no, no, listen mode makes the game so much better. It's still fucking hard, so. Um. Beatable. Beatable, yes. Difficult, extremely. Oh, I'm gonna punch this zomba, uh, zombie! Die, zombie! No, no, no! Get off of me! I'm gonna kick your ass! I'm gonna kick your ass! I'm Hank Hill. I saw ass kicking and ass kicking accessories. And 
Tess is shooting the bitch. There we go. Alright, let's Yeah, I like the fact that the AI actually does shit. Oh, I'm sorry, good. Ellie. 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 Yeah, she doesn't do shit for a while. I mean, like, if I'm being, like, when that, uh... I'm gonna call her Ellen. When that... When, when that infected... I'm gonna call her Juno. <laughs> when the infected was, uh, attacking me like that, when he was, like, strangling me, she'll sometimes come up behind the person strangling you and, like, stab him just to get him off you. Yeah. She doesn't kill him, but shit, it helps, I guess. She's just doing her best. Wee. So yeah, we're out of the spores and right back in the backpack. Oh, turn that off. You don't really need a flashlight during daylight time. No, I don't. Well, I think this is a good first stopping point. We got through some first enemies and uh. Won't you yeah. Be able to get you some of them air fresheners? Alrighty then. All right. Well, that was fun. All right. Get the dialogue. Stop. All right. Don't talk to you later. Peace.